heading south from the Five Corners area down to the Royal Sun have a little look around and then a nice tasty dinner to finish the night off and Dob Breton from sunny sunny beach I'm at Five Corners it's really noisy loads of traffic Strange people walking past, a couple of buskers here with drums and different things. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to be doing later. So um, the other half's away tonight, so I'm going to have a little walk down south from here towards the Royal Sun and some of the hotels that are down in that area um, to show you what it's like. So join me on my walk. It's really, really hot. I tell you, it is steaming tonight. So here we go, here's the service road at the side of the road, um, that follows the main road, the boulevard, through, the, through Sunny Beach. It's very useful, if you've got a bicycle it's great to ride up here. There's no horses and carts, no carriages, no little trains. So this is a fairly easy trip along here. It's not too busy. Just your damn uh, service vehicle basically coming into the apartments and shops. That's all. There are, uh, there's a lot of these little medical centres all over Sunny Beach. They are private. Um, they have ambulances, so if you've got medical insurance, not a problem if you're here. Um, you get seen very, very quickly, there's no waiting list or anything. You're straight into see a doctor almost immediately and get sorted out. So don't worry about the medical if you're in Sunny Beach. As long as you paid your insurance, you're okay because it's private basically. <laughs> you don't get it for nothing. There you go. It's one thing you don't get for nothing here. Here's the Hiratsima Hotel behind me. Absolutely gorgeous grounds. Four star hotel. Big grounds. Well kept. Foliage is well trimmed. <laughs> Pools are well maintained. It's typical of some of the, the nicer hotels here with big grounds. Lots of space. And they're closing the pool now at normally 7 o'clock. Most of the pools shut. To stop uh, drunk people falling in them later at night. So, um, you have to keep your eyes about you in Sunny Beach. I'm standing here in a position I've got people going past. That's why I keep flicking my eyes around a little bit. Because uh, maybe they're not paying attention when they're coming past. I don't want to get hit by a um, shopping trolley. <laughs> but I'm standing here. You never know. It may happen one day. So I'm now up to the Tia Maria Hotel. And... Um, some of these hotels get a bit of, bit of a reputation for the height of the summer being a bit uh, sort of a bit rowdy maybe. I don't know, a bit noisy. There's lots of younger people in them. Because some of them are sold as sort of 1830 holiday. I think the Tia Maria used to be certainly like that. But we had a holiday, an early break here and we bought the apartment in the May and uh, we stayed there and we had a fantastic time. Because it was quiet, it was early seasons. So I think some of these hotels you've really got to avoid peak season when like when the students are here and the 1830 if you want a quieter holiday you don't just pick your hotel, be a bit careful on your hotel because some of them are a bit noisy and that's one that is noisy i can guarantee that is noisy tia maria <laughs> but we had a great great time there and uh, it was about six years ago we paid something about 15 pound a night it was absolutely peanuts it was nothing of course that to me, made it a lot, lot better, the fact that we didn't pay hardly anything, hardly anything for it at all. <laughs> I wonder why that makes the hotel better. It just seems to, somehow. I don't know. Cheapest chips. Anyway, that's the Tia Maria. Fairly modern place, and I'm, so I'm making my way south here. Uh, I'm running along by Crown Rent-A-Car. And uh, I filmed this... Um, Oh, about eight weeks ago, I think now, we filmed this and you couldn't move the cars because the entire cover, which is solar panels, was completely full of hire cars from one end to the other. And uh, there's not even a quarter of them here now. They're all on rent because it's just so busy. Yeah, there's not many cars here at all now. And uh, actually what they do, all the hire cars are gone. And I think they're charging people to park because these are all Romanian plated cars. It's easy for the Romanians because the border's only sort of three hours away. 
you could <laughs> so it's easy for them to come here on holiday they don't have to get a plane they can just drive oh it's easy for them there you go yeah they're charging for parking now there's hardly any hard cars left across the road i've got the somalian just like to say hello to the english people that do, we just chatted as we walked along there for a little bit um, they're staying their bed and breakfast and enjoying their stay in sunny beach and going out to the market on thursday there you go so we have the yantra hotel there we go at the end of crown we have the yantra and the ardor they are quite dated hotels by the design um, they are quite quite dated really but they are people do like them because they're cheap I give us a, oh, we're staying there, but it's only cost us a little bit of money. If you're not in the room very much and you're out and about, you still get sunny beach, you're not paying a lot of money. There you go. You don't want to have posh suites and whatever in a five star hotel. You have something very basic to stay because you're going to be out all day down the beach and then out in the bar all night, you can pick one of these hotels. And this is one of those bus stops I absolutely hate. There you go. Whoa, it's supposed to come in this side as well. <laughs> oh, I never saw that coming. Whoa, that caught me out. Anyway, there's a bus stop there outside the Royal Sun. So if you go to a bus stop, look out for taxi drivers. This one in particular, this one here, um, we tend to walk to the next, if we're going to catch a bus up here to the Nessie Bar or something, we're going out, we tend to go to the next stop. Because normally a taxi driver sits sitting there and they hassle you. And they'll be saying, oh, don't take the bus. Well, I can do it for less. I can do it for less. Please don't take the bus. I'll, I'll do you a deal. And they won't leave you alone sometimes on these stops. So if there's a taxi sitting at the stop, just walk, just walk past the stop or wait until the taxi goes. Somebody gets some idiot goes and uh, pays for the taxi. That's what we normally do. We avoid the uh, stop with the taxi. There you go, there goes the bus. <laughs> Orange buses are local. Um, if you're catching the bus out to the market or burgers, you're going to find there are assorted colours. There's like light blue, bl white, cream, all sorts of colours they use. They sort of buy any old bus they can. <laughs> They're certainly not in corporate colours, so uh, you look for the card in the front window. That tells you where the bus is going. You can't tell by sort of the sign writing what company it is or anything really, apart from the orange ones which are local. DS buses. Oh, can you continue on a little bit more? Now, I'm just here at uh, I'm just here at the front of the um, I'm just here at the front of the Royal Sun. And uh, just walked across and do you know what it's been so hot, it's been well in the 30s absolutely scorching look at this grass this is beautifully lush and green so i can't see any sprinklers but there's got to be a watering system in here somewhere it's absolutely beautiful considering how hot it is it's steamy steamy hot and yet there's loads of greenery here that's absolutely beautiful oh, lots of people sitting out on royal sun tonight on their balconies just enjoying enjoying the view. I was like, it's so nice. I mean, it, we're in the height of summer here, it, and it's so hot. It's been 32 today, 33. Um, yeah, you know, grass would normally be sizzled and brown by now. Um, this is being kept beautifully. It makes the apartments. It just makes them feel a lot cooler because you've got the green, lush grass in front of them. Just gives a really nice atmosphere, feel to it. Really pleasant. There we go, I'm just uh, opposite the Royal Sun. Actually outside the Royal Sun, but the, uh, the, actually believe it or not, the sun is so bright I can't film in that direction. It's actually crazy because I've got a setting sun. It's so strong, can't see anything. But there you go, directly opposite the gates of the Royal Sun is the Smart Line Meridian. And then the Yantra. So you've got a couple of hotels here. So directly opposite the Royal Sun. Here you go. 
just over the top of the trees here. Uh, if you can look through to the casino hotel there, that is the beach. The tall hotel in the centre there at the back, the dark one, that is the beach. Beach front. So we're not that far from the actual front. Yeah, 15 minute walk. So when people say, oh, I'm back, I'm, I'm, I'm back just in the start near apartment areas. It's not that long a walk, it really isn't. Uh, we're almost up there, we're up to Tiara Beach now. Um, which is uh, along the front. So I say, oh, not a very long walk. The resort isn't that, it's very long, but it's not very wide. It's very narrow, actually. And there's still got quite a few trees here, which is quite nice. This bit's got some trees. <laughs> I didn't realise I've just flown up here how many trees there are. There we go. I'm not much level with myself here. Here comes my drone. It's nearly over my head now. There you go, over my head. So I'll swing it round. I'll do a bit of a rotation. And there's old Nessie Bar in the distance. This is the main Boulevard Road. And I'm coming round towards the Royal Sun. There you go, here's the Royal Sun, which is behind me. So I'm trying to lower the camera a little bit. There you go, you can see it, because the sun is very, very bright. There you go, look at the magnificent swimming pools. That is so neat and tidy, isn't it? All the lounges are all in order. They're obviously not being used now, because it's gone seven o'clock. Um, yeah, it's half past seven, so I don't think there's many people in the pools now. They're getting ready to go out, enjoy themselves. But there you are, that's the Royal Sun. It's a fantastic complex, as you can see, with magnificent pools. Wow, that looks absolutely, that looks so, so impressive. There you go. And I'll just show you the gates. Here we go, we're going back, and there's the main entrance. <laughs> On the front here, there you go, and I'm standing just in front of this. There we go, I'll just show you. There you are. That's what it looks like looking through from the front. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful complex. So, anyway, I've got some seagulls over my head, so I think it's time to come in before my seagulls want my drone for lunch. <laughs> for dinner. Oh, I've suddenly got loads of seagulls. Here you go. I better bring this down. Let's come down quick here. I've got, I've got birds all over the place here. Oh, here we go. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, there you come. Oh, come on, baby. Condor, here we are. Come on, baby. Well done, mate. There you go. Condor's made it back. Well, if you're staying in the Royal Sun, there's obviously bars and restaurants with food in there. But next door, if you're at the Avalon, which is the next complex along. That's a little bar here called Hole 19. There you go, so you can have a beer there. So you haven't actually even got across the main road. If it's too hot for you, you just want to be around the pool, you don't want to walk anywhere, you can actually have a beer right against you, right, right where you're staying really. And so I've got some dreams along here. There's, there's just loads of complexes on this little bit here. And several small bars. Just to keep you refreshed. No, it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I've been walking for probably another half an hour after I've filmed walking past here, saying about the bus stop. And since I've done that, there are three taxis have turned up to pounce on people at the bus stop. There you go. That's something I really, we really don't like, is there's the taxi driver here is trying to, the guy in the white shirt is trying to persuade people to um, get in his taxi, they're saying no. So if you get the taxis piled up like that on the, just go, just walk up to the next stop. It's not worth arguing. To the right of the Royal Sun is Daniela, Daniela's shop. This is where Susan comes to get her nails done. So Susan can tell you, Daniela does an absolutely amazing job on the nails. There you go, they last for ages. So if you ladies need to have your nails done while you're here, you can come to Daniela's. Leave the Royal Sun area and I'm heading across the road now. It's getting busy out here. 
even at the back of the resort here, there's a lot of people walking around, going out for the evening. They're all doled up. <laughs> got the got their fine glad rags on. So I've got a cut through behind the Arda and at the side of the Yantra here, because uh, then it's a busy, busy area. So I need to go and get something to eat. At the moment, <clears throat> as it's really high season now, uh, if we've got a film going out, we can get anything up to 100 messages a day. Crazy numbers. Um, and people ask me to obviously do individual hotels, which you can't do, obviously can't do that number. I get like 10 requests a day. So all I'll be doing is running around looking at hotels, which uh, isn't what we do. But sometimes people ask me about hotels, and you know what, I can't think where that hotel is. Even though I've walked past it 50 times, I just go, my mind goes blank. I think, oh, do you know what, I don't think I've ever seen that hotel. I don't know where it is. I really don't know. And this is one of those hotels because it's just at the back of the Bakel, really, which is a big hotel. And this is the Babylon. There you go, the Babylon is a very, very impressive hotel. But because it's got shops on the front and the way it's built on the road, you don't really notice it. And the reception is on the side road. So I don't ever, I've walked past it. I've never, ever paid attention to this beautiful reception. That's a magnificent looking hotel that I've just walked past. And on the other side, it's got a really nice looking restaurant as well. I say, so there are hundreds of hotels and you can't know them all. It's just impossible. Even though I know a lot of them, I don't know them all. <laughs> well, I haven't got a photographic memory and sometimes my, my mind just goes blank. But anyway, there is the Babylon. That is a big hotel. So a nice restaurant at the side. Very impressive reception. Lots of shiny glass. That is really, really nice. Oh, yeah. You can't see it because of the reflection on the glass, but that is very, very impressive. That is very nice. Yeah, that, that does look really smart. Actually, finally now, the back reaches of the resort are getting people in. There's the Dunav. Um, and a week ago I was up here in the evening and there wasn't one person in that street. Uh, there's, there's, there's a flow of people now. So the whole resort's getting busy. Obviously next week the British come in force because the uh, schools break up. So it's another big country making a, making a move and getting on their planes and coming, which will be nice. Doing a few more English. But there's a smart line with quite a few people sitting around there tonight again on the patio. There's Graham with his car. 20 lever, get you a trip around 1927 American car. That seems really popular, I keep seeing him out about. So I've just made it to the Azuro. Um, we get a free small beer with a meal. <laughs> they know I'm having the meal that comes with the beer. They haven't asked what I'm having yet, but they wanted always the daily special. And I've just walked in and I've had um, two families of subscribers um, sitting in here. So I've done a few pictures as I've got in. And there's an English couple just going out as I came as well and I've chatted to them. It seems that uh, they've all been watching the films and they're coming in here for a meal. Well, it's a good place to come and it's not expensive. I think we're going to have a Kavama, which is my, day, my normal special. <laughs> so it's Kavama, which is a nice stew. Very filling. Join me again in a minute when that arrives. Uh, there's my little pot there of hot pork. Here, are, here's my pot of hot pork there with peppers and onions, really delicious. Got some chips, a little salad, and uh, it's so hot I can't eat. The chips are boiling, absolutely fantastic. And you get a beer as well. We are basically 13 leather. How about that? That's my dinner sorted for the night. So as I'm, um, so I'm now going to eat my dinner in peace on my own for a minute because there's all these subscribers keep coming in and talking to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I'm going to have my dinner now um, with a very nice little beer. There you go. So I'll say Nostravi. And uh, ciao ciao for now. See you again later.
don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks a lot.